Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a case of 2023 Bowman Baseball. Jumbo edition, eight box, pick your team, 26. A very big thanks to this group right here for making it happen on a Monday. Thanks for people who, thanks to the people who got into that update box break where we gave away the remaining teams. And then I think uh, it was Carlos with official last spot mojo picked up the Rangers before we pulled the remainder of the teams for the filler. So just in the interest of time, we are gonna fly through this break as quickly as possible. We got a, got a little event tomorrow that we're gotta get up early for. So we'll fly through these. Basically, parallels and autos are all really, really focusing on. Three autos a box per box on average in these jumbo boxes. We're looking for Drew Jones, Gunnar Henderson, among others. And away we go. MLBTradeRumors.com has, uh, has released their annual top free agents list. Uh, let's, let's go through this list here. We're not gonna go through all 50. Maybe we'll go through the top 25 as we do these, uh, these long breaks, this long break here. They also have a fun predictor contest. I think you can win a, like a subscription to their site or something like that. They, they do a pretty good job. I, they claim that they're still an independent, I, I have no reason to, to not believe them, but they're still an independent body. You know, a lot of these sort of popular sites end up getting bought out by someone at some point. You know, but no, I think they're still independent actors, so. And they do a good job kind of aggregating a lot of different news and then putting their own spin on it. They do a good job at it. But that link to that, uh, that predictor contest is on the site. Check it out. They got 50 on there. We'll go through the top 25. Kenta Maeda at spot 25. They're predicting, the MLB Trade Rumors is predicting two years $36 million. Sounds about right. It's got some upside. Maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe $36 million with the escalator, with some escalators based on starts and health. The trade rumor staff thinks that uh, it's either going to be Mets, Twins, or Orioles. I guess a lot of people can use the services of a kind of a solid middle of the rotation guy. And our first autograph, Gabriel Moreno, to four ninety nine. That's going to be for the Blue Jays. Alexander, I'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. Alexander with that one. Chat saying we're looking for Tamar Johnson or Jace Bowen is who we're looking for. All right, noted. Duly noted. So this is just random paper, all card chip, of course. Not as Bowman first, in case you were wondering. That's why I'm kind of breezing by it. Corbin Carroll, nice. Rookie green paper to 399. That's for Kevin in the Diamondbacks. Won the Diamondbacks in the filler. How about that? Gets the paper Corbin Carroll. You're, uh, I suppose you're NL, uh, your presumptive NL Rookie of the Year. Number 24, Michael Waka on this list. There's Nelson Rada to 499. Breeze through this paper. And our next autograph is Jacob Berry. Uh, MLB trade rumor staff thinking three years, $36 million. Maybe Reds, maybe Braves. Joel with Miami. Oh, 
We got Cole Young, Aqua Shimmer to 125. And our sorting and shipping team will take care of all those numbered cards. And we got, there you go. Asking you shall receive, Chad. Jace Bowen. Pirates, Chad winning that in the update box. Not numbered. But there he is. And who's next? Yeah, a colorful one, maybe the other guy, Tamar Johnson. And Elijah Green, sky blue to four ninety nine for Greg. One of their big prospects. Fifth overall draft pick there, of course. We got this cool looking Francisco Alvarez. That's for the Mets. That'll be for James. When did this when did this come out? It's all the all these I feel like there's been so many Bowman releases that it all just kind of blurs together now. These are not numbered. It's got that sort of lunar craters landscapes back there. First box down. Another box to go. Going up to MLB trade rumors. We've got Mitch Garver, three years, 39 million. It's their guest. Jack Flaherty, three years, 40 million. Jordan Hicks, four years, 40 million. Jordan Hicks, that's an interesting cat, right? I think he likes some injuries there. He's got such a, he's got such velocity on his on his fastball. But can that be tamed? Can he be a starter? Is he just a reliever? What about JD Martinez, 20th on the list? Because has he played his way into a big contract? He was an all-star this year. That's how well he was playing. But just a DH these days. I don't think you can really put him in the field anymore. But he can still give you a nice right-handed bat. Dude, the homers aren't... I guess he did hit 30-plus 30, 30 homers this year. I mean, I take that. They're predicting two years, $40 million. Short contract. High average annual value. Popping that bat. The MLB Trade Rumors writers, one of them thinks Mets... Another one thinks Mariners, another one thinks Angels. I feel like those are pretty good fits. Next on the list, Seth Lugo, Marcus Stroman. 
And this group is thinking two years, $44 million. Coming off a good season overall, but but Cy Young level the first few months, but then struggled, made injury really, for the final few months, I think, derailed his potential Cy Young run, I guess. But he, I think he opted out. He had, an, he had a player option, he opted out. There's a Nerwill and Cedeno for the Padres. That's going to be for Jeremy and the Friars. That's the first box. Here's the second box. There's that Tamar Johnson that Chad is looking for. Let's find some ink for this guy. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the pictures of Jackson Holiday looks like he's like 10 years old. He's got a baby face. And we've got How You Lee. 269 out of 499. The uh the Taiwanese middle infielder going to Joel and the Phillies. Got Max Muncy, A's edition of Max Muncy to 199. Purple Lunar for Stephen Carney in the Athletics. He has the same birthday, I think, as other Max Muncy. That's kind of a weird coincidence, and I think they're they're born like far apart enough where Dodgers Max Muncy would not have been the inspiration for his name. Centurio, he's supposed to be pretty good. In fact, last spring training, I feel like then Brewers manager even suggested he might be, he might make the opening day roster. That's how, that's how good he could possibly be. There's James Altman, purple paper to 199. Ooh, here's a nice one coming up for the Phillies. Joel, Justin Crawford, 50 out of 250, purple chrome, Bowman first autograph. Um, I'm fairly certain he's Carl Crawford's kid. If you remember, Carl Crawford carved out a very nice career. So that's one of the big chases in this set. And for the Phillies, there's Zach Geloff to 250, Purple Ray Wave. For the A's, Steven. So those are our three autographs, unless unless we have bonuses. Maybe we'll see some more parallels before this box is out. Yes, we got Christian Serta to 299 paper for Kevin and the Diamondbacks.
right, scrolling up the list here, Giolito on the free agent list, Jorge Soler, Jung Hoo Lee from South Korea. Uh, hitter. We got Lourdes Guriel at 14. Uh, Candelario, Jimer Candelario, 13. Teoscar Han is 12. Eduardo Rodriguez, 11. And then we've got, uh, I think, the another Japanese pitcher, Shota uh, Amanaga. So it looks like he's posting. So we'll see where he ends up. I feel like the, the free agent class seems to be a little soft this year. Softer this year? I mean, it's headlined by Otani. That's one big name. But then after that, I'm not sure if that's as, as deep as it has been in some other years. So there might be some guys that could get some... Uh, that could get some uh, nice deals this offseason. Especially maybe some of these international players. They're suggesting that this uh, Shota guy gets five years, $85 million. This is pretty solid. It's if he's projected as a middle of the rotation guy, a three, four middle of the rotation kind of guy. So keep flying through the paper and we got another autograph. First of three in this box, Tim Tawa, 116 out of 250, Kevin with the Diamondbacks. Got Andrew Taylor. Showing so we keep track of the autographs right there. Three per box. Andrew Taylor for the Astros. That'll be for John. Not numbered. And Christian Hernandez to 250. Purple Chrome. That'll be for Frank and the Cubs, the Morel, or Hernandez, that is. And we got uh, Angel Janelle, 36 out of 199. Purple lunar paper for Cleveland, and it'll be for Joel. Got Yafri Solano to 199. Felix Valerio, I thought that might have been numbered. And then we got a Juan Brito for the Rocks. That'll be for Matt Arnold with the Rockies. Picked up the Rocks straight up.
Jackson's brother, Jason Shurio. Flip these around. They... Got our three autos, right? Yeah, so this should just be par possible parallel hunting. No. Three autos. Next box. Uh, number nine on the MLBTradeRumors.com free agent list is Sunny Gray. My Sonny Gray on the on a Dodgers roster. I feel like the Dodgers are are, are going to be linked to all of these players one way or the other. But I think that domino won't drop until all these other dominoes won't drop until we figure out where uh is going to go. Number eight on this list is Josh Hader. That's right, he's a free agent, free agent closer. Matt Chapman. Number seven, Jordan Montgomery, Darren Nola, Blake Snell, um, the Japanese pitcher Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Cody Bellinger, and then Otani's up top. These guys are saying, thinking 12 years, $528 million. It's crazy. Obviously, the Dodgers are in, probably going to be in big on Shohei Otani. Not previous years, I feel like if they didn't really want to chase a uh, big name free agent, they would kind of hit him with the, we'll give you a short term, but high average annual value kind of salary, not lock ourselves in for more than five years or whatever, but I don't know. I think they gave a big deal to, to Freddie Freeman, to Mookie Betts. And I think Otani's gonna be a guy that they really want that they really want to have going forward. Chilly in here now. So ah, we'll see what happens. But I kinda the best case scenario is that is that um, that Otani goes somewhere, signs somewhere as quickly as possible. There's Dian Frias, 51 out of 150. Dian Frias going to Joel and the Guardians. That way, the other free agents, you know, I mean, after that, I feel like the the dominoes will fall for the rest of the free agents the bigger names that are on the market. Then I feel like we will start to see some floodgates open. I would imagine everybody's in on Otani, even the A's. You gotta put in a phone call if you're the A's GM, right? Otani will never go there to the, to the A's, but you got to try. 
What, 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 would, what would you say if you're the A's GM? What would you pitch? You would pitch a small, but for the A's, a record-breaking contract. <laughs> That's You'd have to be like, hey, record-breaking contract. You're going to play in a new stadium. You're going to have, you know, a, 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 in a city where that attracts a lot of people from all over the world. There's Alex Ramirez to 499, a very, a very, uh, you know, it's a diverse amount of tourists there every year who would love to go pop over and see Otani in a brand new baseball stadium. You'd have to make at least that pitch. The house that Otani built. Or the house that Otani filled with, with A's fans. That would be a shock, right? A's? What are some other shock teams? It's like the Tigers. And the Tigers got Otani. I mean, good for the Tigers. I feel like that'd be awesome, but... There's Rafael Devers to 175. I mean, Tigers have spent money before. They've given big contracts to Verlander and... and, uh, and Miguel Cabrera, so I feel like they're not afraid to spend a little money. Here's Juan Alonso to 399. We got Logan Wagner for the Dodgers to 125. That'll be for Barry. I feel like there may have been some more Drew Jones Bowman first paper, Kevin, but obviously all card ships, so you'll, you'll get all of those. Really chrome and parallels these days are what we're really looking for, but we'll start try to catch some of those. Drew Jones Chrome. Should be one more autograph in here somewhere. There it is. Wilmer Flores. Bowman first autograph for the Tigers. That'll be for Kirk. And the Tigres won that spot in the update box and on the board. Oh, and a Jackson Churio. Nice. Refractor of 499. Not a Bowman first, but still nice. Brewers, Michael. All right, halfway through this eight box break. Where does everyone think Otani ends up? That's going to be the question on everyone's lips this off season. And I, if someone signs him to a full, you know, 10 plus year deal, I think it's going to be for full value as if you're paying for the pitching as well, even though he won't be doing that next year. But I feel like you have to build in some, some kind of protection in, in the sense that how long can he be doing both? I think he's like in his early 30s. I guess Aaron Judge got a big contract in his early 30s as well, but I mean, I mean, it takes 
I feel like five years into the deal or something like that, you have to have something in there that was sort of like, well, I guess, I guess the, I guess the team can just, and the player can just agree. But hopefully, there's some, some open dialogue before you know contract pen to paper on the contract where it's like, listen, give it, you know, in five years if this two way thing isn't working, you know, we got to talk about it, right? Like, we, let's just keep an open mind about you know, being open to maybe doing one thing, just one thing, not the other. Or maybe turning Otani into a closer, maybe in the... I mean, he could probably still put up Cy Young numbers as a starter, right? Maybe even win a Cy Young. And then imagine if he changes to a closer and just starts setting records and saves. I always think closer, why not closer? I mean, I know he's effective as a starter. Here's uh, Yadiel Sanchez, 144 out of 150. May never get a chance to play with Otani. Goes to Joel and the Angels. I mean, there are situations where Otani could potentially, I guess this would be in road games, I guess. Where he could hit a hit a go ahead, hit the go ahead run in the top of the ninth, and then close out the home team in the bottom of the ninth, and then and get the save too. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Another angel. We got Jorge Ruiz. That's for Joel and the Halos. Two for three in this box. Well, two for two. Two for two autos. Third one coming up. Zach Nito. Kennedy Corona, 75, yellow paper for Houston. That'll be for John. Looking for one more auto. One more auto. James Harden and the Clippers didn't quite turn the garden into Madison Square Harden. I've heard this report. Sports Center has repeated. And we've got, got Roman Anthony, Speculato. 49 out of 299, Boston. Stephen Carney with the Boston Red Sox. Third auto. Three for three on red teams. Well, whose fault is that, James? Marcos Cabrera to 299. How does this Harden, James Harden Clipper era work out? What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy, you hope that. The Mariners pay him $40 million just to DH. Sure, surely the Mariners will be in on it. Oh, 
All right, sorry. Got to change the channel here. I can't watch this, these highlights for a second time. Maybe NFL game day final. I haven't seen, seen some highlights around the league. Yeah, it's, that's true, the mayor. I mean, you could argue that Otani's a great fit for any team, really, but... And I'm Jeff And this is our Tempertech story. We built the Tempertech Right, ironically, the Dodgers need a little bit more pitching rather than hitting, although it was the hitting that kind of went quiet in the playoffs. They need both, I guess. It's Kennedy Corona at 250. The Mariners are kind of the perfect place for him, Jimmy is saying. He wouldn't have to rush back to pitch, and they, they have the rotation already. It's the offense that's lacking. We got Francisco Lindor, yellow paper to 75. There's Anthony Gutierrez to 125 for the Rangers. And that will be for Carlos. And we got a little color match here, a blue chrome parallel for the Cubbies. Moises Ballesteros, 127 out of 150. Ballesteros for Frank and the Cubs. Jimmy can hardly remember who DH'd for the Mariners. It's in Chad Daw remembers all too well. He's saying it's Sam Haggerty, Dylan Moore. Oh, Dylan Moore has the DH. And, uh, and Jose... You know, my job is, is to get a uh, Caballero? And, you know, I was trying to do that with those guys up front. I'm always trying to help out the O line with that up front. Well, Otani yeah. would fit nicely yeah. in that, yeah. in that yeah. lineup. Yeah. Um, Otani fits yeah. nicely in every lineup. You know, if there's an opportunity to watch this film and then find something, I can point you to the ball faster. You know, probably some more from those. And, um, you know, because that can't happen. You know, I got to help those guys. Now, when Otani was, was, post, was posted, he yeah. was going to come to the United States. I think he did. There were some. I don't think he ever explicitly said it, but there were some rumblings that he wanted to stay on the West Coast. Now that he's familiar with, you know, the size and scope and travel of the United States and the games and the grind and all that stuff, I wonder if his thought process has changed on that. And we've got another Cub, two for two. Dernish Valdez. Frank with the Cubbies. Yeah, I think we do good in that tempo. You know, I think we've done well in too many situations, you know, this year. So it's kind of, you know, replicating that. More gold. Anthony Paguero, 25 out of 50 for the Fish. That is for Joel. No, I, I, I got I got flipped upside down on my head. Not not dazed, flipped upside down, but like when I got sacked, I was on, I was upside down. So when I stood up, the Chargers were all kind of blocking the sideline, and so I kind of just got turned around. But yeah, I mean, more than anything, I was frustrated. I wasn't wasn't looking. So. And we've got a pirate, Braylon Bishop. Yeah, I don't know if it's one thing. I, I want to get the ball out of my hands quicker. I want to, you 
That is for Chad and the Pirates. Hmm. Maris had the most international money spent on him. Rumor he didn't want to be compared to Ichiro. Interesting. I wonder if that has also changed. And I wonder if his approach has changed there as well, or is it his opinion? Maybe now that he's established himself as Otani, you know, and his, you know, he has his own clear identity. Would he be willing to join a team that also had a? Hall of Fame so, Japanese yeah, player. Really cut down on your interceptions from last year. I think you've only had like one in the last four or five games. Um, you, you think perhaps you're playing a little too cautious, trying to cut down on the interceptions and kind of let it rip at that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, absolutely. If I watched this film, there was a, you know. Yeah, and him and Ichiro have a good relationship now as well. Yeah, I my progression to something that I read with this notch, I could tell. You know, I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of that. Officially announcing all, speaking of baseball, all the, what's the award schedule? Well, I guess they finally released the finalists for all of the awards. And then Rookie of the Year is next Monday, Manager of the Year next Tuesday, Cy Young on the 15th, and Most Valuable Player on the 16th. So, I don't know why they do it like that. We've talked about this before. We'll talk about it again. Maybe the players don't want it. But just one big event. Just give us all the give us all the winners. There's Jorge Burgos. Now I get the idea of each award having its own day and its own news cycle. This is for Cleveland. This is for you, Joel. But why not? Why not? Uh, why not one like gala, one one night or something like that? You know. Uh, Cy Young favorites. Or the finalists for the NL Cy Young is Zach Gallen, Blake Snell, and Logan Webb. And for the AL, it's Garrett Cole, Kevin Gossman, and Sonny Gray. I think by the end of the season, I think Zach Gallen and Garrett Cole were, or at least for Vegas, the odds-on favorite. But I think... I think I think there was less separation between Gallon and some of the other players than than Garrett Cole and the like the second highest odds player. If you, if you know what I'm trying to say. And we got Dylan O'Reilly, 41 out of 75, yellow parallel for the Brew Crew, and that will be for Michael. Four weeks 
That's number. There's Angel Martinez, 15 out of 125. Bowman Scouts top 100, number 100. And some of those can be autographed as well. Here's Blue Paper Braylon Bishop to 150. For Chad and the Pirates, the Angel Martinez will go to the Guardians. That will be for Joel. I think your NL MVP finalists, Acuna Jr., Betts, and Freeman, but I think it's going to be pretty obvious who it's going to be there. They all think it's pretty obvious, right? Otani, Seeger, and Simeon. You know, looks like they're going to, so Otani's probably going to win the MVP. It'll be pretty shocking if he doesn't. Are all the other awards kind of chalk? Except for Cy Young. Cy Young might be a little bit closer. MVP races sound like they're chalk. Rookie of the year in the NL is chalk, right? It's either Corbin Carroll, James Allen, or Kodai Senga. I guess it's close in the AL. Who's got it for the AL? T Tanner Beebe for the Guardians. Tristan Casas and Gunnar Henderson are your, um, are your finalists there for the AL Rookie of the Year. Maybe, uh, probably Gunnar Henderson. Maybe, hmm, maybe Gunnar Henderson. There's Colin Palouse. No, we are booked up tonight, Mosaic. I just, for, uh, 64, that is. I just dropped the schedule for you so you can check it out. And I think that still has six spots left now. Anyway. It's not even full. Speed up, speed up. As fast, this is as fast as I can go on this. One more box after this? Yeah. It's still, still going to be an hour. I can't get this under an hour. I think. All card ship? All card ship. I can't go any faster than that. And it's still like an hour. I think Jason gets an under under 60 minutes. I'm not sure how he does that. Maybe if I didn't sleeve all those numbered cards. Here's Nick Morabito. I gotta watch the film. See where where I'm slowing down. Maybe that. I can't even put this in a top loader, that's why. Matt's refractor autograph going to James. We got a blue Mikey Romero to one fifty. I mean, I can't, I don't know how Jason does it. I don't think so. I think this is my limit. Well, Jason doesn't even like show the whole card. He like literally, like for the paper mm. ones, he just like. All right, all right. Maybe that's where he gets. I mean, if he's saving like 30 oh, seconds of a pack. Also, when he like. Those are, that's, that's. When he has the, the stack of cards in his hand, he sleeves it while still having the stack of cards in his hand. What? Like, let's say... He doesn't put the rest of the stack down? No. If he has it, he literally will have it like this, hold the card out, and, like, sleeve it up. Wow. Yeah. So you think he saves shaves like... Yes, 100%. Because, I mean, if you save two minutes a box, right? That's 16 minutes. Even a minute a box, like 10 minutes. Yeah. I can't... I and that's under that's under 60 minutes right there. I, I try to do it. I think it's also because the sleeves are always on that side, and he's left-handed, so... So you think if I... I don't know if we move the sleeves to the right side. Let's try it. Yeah, no, Jason's always ripped faster than me. You can you can check the tape. That that I'm saying the guy I don't know how to get to get to his speed levels. I don't think I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon, Chad. The data is there, you know? 
You're like, you're not going to turn Cal Raleigh into a base dealer. It's just not going to happen. We got Oscar Colas to 125. So Jason, are you saying he, I don't know. I don't know if I can even do that. All right. Nice 64, yeah. Well, that'll probably be one of our first breaks of the day tomorrow. Max Wagner, or Wagner, going to Chris and the Orioles. And we've got a Yadiel Sanchez for the Angels. That will be for somebody, for Joel. All right, final two boxes coming up. Or two autographs. Matt Mervis is the second to last autograph. Cubs, Frank. Jason, does he? I guess I feel like sometimes I get sidetracked during these. Where it's like I'm gonna look up, like, hey, what's what's baseball award season? I don't think I think Jason's a lot more focused than I am. I guess I could try to shave that. No one's watching replays of this anyway, right? They're just skipping straight to the end where I do the recap. There's Drew Waters, and the last autograph is Nakao Puka Grego. 124 out of 150 for the Phillies. That's going to be for Joel. That's a blue lunar autograph. And another lunar. That's Jorge Burgos to 199. The Drew Waters purple paper goes to Joel. The Joel also gets the Guardians, right? Yeah, has the Guardians. All right, and that's that. 54 minutes and 25 seconds. Got him. Recap. Good luck, everybody, or good luck, everybody. I'm gassed today. Thanks, everybody, is what I meant to say. There's your recap. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazzpeacecasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.